hi slim stars welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe down below it's free and it helps my channel grow in today's video guys we're going to be making this two in one um bubu kimono dress so it can be worn as a kimono and it can also be worn as a bubu dress it also has a snatch waistline and it has a cow shoulder or cow sleeves okay so i'm going to show you guys how to make this from start to finish so without further ado let's get right into the drafting cutting and sewing of this lovely bubu dress So I've already gone ahead now to fold my fabric twice, okay? So I folded it and then folded it yet again. So where I have the double folds is going to be my center front, okay? From the top of the fabric, I'm going to mark the bust point measurement, which is 10 inches. I'm also going to go ahead and mark the waistline, which is 16 inches, okay? And then finally, I'm going to mark the hip line which is 24 inches now the length of this piece is already 58 inches what i'm going to do now is i'm going to extend all those lines i've marked now i'm going to divide the bust circumference by four place that on the bust point line and then i'm going to mark that point i'm also going to add four inches allowance extra okay for ease since this is a booboo -boo dress you don't want it to be too tight you want it to be very free also, on the waistline, I'm going to divide the waist circumference by 4. I'm going to place it on the waistline and mark that point. And then I'm also going to add 4 inches allowance for ease as well. I'm also going to do the same thing on the hip line. I'll divide the hip circumference by 4. Mark that on the hip line and add 4 inches allowance to that. Now, in order to get the width for the hemline, I'm just going to mark what I have on my hip line, including the allowance. And I'm going to mark that same measurement all the way down to the hemline, okay? So, just measure what you have at the hip line, including the allowance. And mark that same measurement all the way down to the hip line. So that from the hip all the way down to the hem, you have a straight line. Now, I'm going to use my ruler to connect those points, okay? So I'm going to connect the points from the hip all the way to the hemline. Now, since my front and back pieces are together, I'm going to be marking the back neckline, which is 3 inches for the width and 1 inch for the depth. And I'm going to draw a curve to connect those points. Later on, I'm going to separate the pieces and then cut my neckline separately. Now, from the neckline, I'm going to mark 17 inches, okay? So that's going to be my sleeve length. Now, at the waistline, I'm going to, going to go ahead and extend that waistline further, okay? And now, from the baseline there that you see here, I'm just going to connect that um, sleeve length point all the way to the waistline, okay? So, just draw a, a line connecting the sleeve length point to the waistline. And then, from that waistline, I'm going to draw a curve to connect that to the hip. I'm using my um, pattern master. You can use your french curve any curve ruler you have is fine so, so so you just create a very nice curve from the waistline all the way to the hip now i'm going to go ahead and cut the neckline of the booboo as well as the outline of you know the outline of the dress that i drafted okay Now I'm going to go ahead and separate the pieces, okay? I'm going to separate the front piece from the back piece. Now both of the pieces are exactly the same, so you can use any of the pieces for your front. Just choose any of them. So I've gone ahead now to fold my piece, making sure that I'm facing the wrong side. Now since this is a kimono, we're going to have to cut open the front. Now to do this, we're going to measure one and a half inches from the neck all the way to the hem. So just mark 1.5 inches all the way and then use your ruler to connect all those points from the neck all the way to the hem. Now once we're done with that, for our neckline, we're going to mark 14 inches which is the under bust, okay? If you want your neckline to be deeper than this, that's fine. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the neckline all the way to that 14 inch mark using our ruler. 
so it just connects the neckline to that 14 inch mark and then go ahead and cut along that new neckline and also along that 1.5 inch inches um, um, marking that you made earlier cut it all the way to the hem now i'm going to take my back piece make sure that the right side is facing upward then i'm going to place my front pieces on top of you know the back piece okay place both front pieces on top of the back piece and then now go ahead and join the shoulders together so make sure you join it with half inch seam allowance now after joining it we're just going to open up the piece like this now from the neckline we're going to go ahead and mark eight inches okay and then from that eight inch mark we're going to go ahead and mark three inches now this three inch um, space we have here is where we're going to create our pleats okay this is what's going to give that cowl effect so you want to go ahead and gently pleat your fabric make sure that it is facing the sleeve okay let it not face the neck let it face the sleeve okay just make sure you um pleat it very nicely now there are two looks that you can get from this the first one is to go ahead and pin and tack the pleats right at you know the shoulder so make sure you tack it to the rest of the booboo right at the shoulder that will give you a cow look at the end of the day but for me i'm doing something slightly different okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just going to go ahead and pin the pleats all the way you saw that i pinned it all the way down to where we have that curve of the sleeve same thing for the back okay just create that pleat and just go ahead and pin the pleats to secure it okay now once you've pinned the pleats to secure it you want to go ahead and fold your piece like so okay now this is the way i told you that you can get a different look and this is the look i want so i'm going to be showing you guys how i got it this is the pleated look okay the look where it looks pleated at the end of the day there's a there's a way you make it it look like a cow so it just looks like folds but not pleats so what i'm going to do is from the shoulder down the back i'm going to mark the waist from the shoulder to the waistline so that measurement is what i'm going to mark which is 16 inches and i'm also going to do the same thing on the front as well from the shoulder i'm going to mark 16 inches which is the waistline so from the shoulder mark 16 inches towards the back and from the shoulder mark 16 inches towards the front now the same place you pinned is where you're going to go ahead and sew so you sew from the sh the first point you marked at the back all the way to the front this is if you want a pleated look okay but if you want it to have that cow look simply tack it at the shoulder before folding it like this now i'm going to do the same thing on the other side from the shoulder i'm going to mark 16 inches towards the front and from the shoulder again i'm going to mark 16 inches towards the back okay and i'm going to go ahead and sew from one point to the other point now to make it easy for you you can go ahead and mark 1.5 inches from the fold remember that the pleats we had is three inches wide at the beginning so once you mark 1.5 inches while it's folded you know that you're sewing at the right place so just go ahead and mark that you can even use your ruler to connect those points so you just follow that straight line when you're sewing now what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and sew along those lines okay and once we've done that this is what it looks like in front can you see what the pleats look like now we're going to turn this to the wrong side this is it at the wrong side now from the baseline we're going to go ahead and mark 10 inches downwards which is the round sleeve divided by 2 plus 4 inches the round sleeve is 6 divided by 2 which is um the round sleeve is 12 sorry divided by 2 which gives me 6 plus 4 inches gives me 10 inches now i'm just going to go ahead and connect that point all the way to you know the bottom part of my sleeve okay so now we don't we no longer need this white sleeve because we've already done our pleats and you know we've gotten that um you know pleated look or cow look depending on which one you want so we're just connecting that um, round sleeve point all the way to you know the rest of the booboo so to eliminate that wide you know sleeve that we have so we'll just cut that out now we're just going to go ahead and sew from you know the sleeve all the way down to the hem on both sides after sewing this is what we have can you see now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and measure from the hem all the way around the neck so we're measuring the front piece now all the way around the neck and then down the other front piece so i'm measuring from the 
hem of one front piece all the way up to the neck around the neck and then from the neck of the um, second front piece we're just going to measure that all the way down to the hem of that second front piece okay so this is what is going to give us the measurements we need to create you know that um um piece for our kimono okay so this is my piece that i've cut out you can use the same fabric or you can use a different fabric it's it's entirely up to you so my piece is my piece here it is four inches wide now as you can see i already went ahead to put hair stay on my piece as you can see and i also folded it in half lengthwise and ironed it flat okay now the length of my piece is the length that i measured you know when i measured from you know the hem all the way to the neck and down to the other hem okay so i'm just going to place my piece okay making sure that the edge of this piece is aligns aligns with the edge of my you know kimono neckline okay now i'm just going to go ahead and pin this all the way from the hem around the neck down to the other hem and then i'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance now after sewing it this is what we have now in order to in, um, attach our snatched waist belt i'm just going to be marking the waistline from the shoulder okay so just from the shoulder there just go ahead and mark your waistline now you want to go ahead and open up you know the attachments you put on the neck now you want to mark five inches this is where you're going to attach your belt okay so same thing on the other side from the shoulder or from the waistline we're going to mark the waistline downwards and then at that point we're just going to unfold you know that attachment that we just added and then we're going to measure from you know that attachment so make sure you're measuring from the attachment and then mark five inches so it's at that very point you're going to add the snatch waist belt i'm going to show you how to cut um you know the snatch waist belt as well so this is the belt we're using now the length of your belt is simply your waist circumference divided by two plus nine inches okay so the waist circumference of my client is 30 inches divided by two is 15 inches plus nine inches that gives us 24 inches okay now it doesn't have to be as long as this you can also do your waist circumference divided by two plus five inches now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this piece lengthwise like this then we're going to close one end by sewing it down and then we're also going to sew along you know the length of the piece now once we've turned it out to the right side we'll go ahead and pin it right at that part where we marked okay now make sure you're pinning this to the wrong side of the front piece okay and then at that point where you've pinned this you want to go ahead and just sew it there you have to back stitch and tack it so it's secure and this is what it looks like in front now in order for us to get that boo boo effect so you can be worn as a boo boo we're going to measure from the shoulder we're going to measure eight inches downwards and we're going to mark that point on both sides okay we're also going to measure from the shoulder and then we're going to measure how high our slit is going to be so i want my slits to stop at the 37 inch mark you can decide for your slits to be higher than this or lower if you want 36 inch mark sorry so that's where i want my slits to start now from the neck to the 36 inch mark we're going to be we're going to go ahead and put in pressing buttons okay press buttons is what we're going to put so that once you close it up you can now it can now be worn as a booboo so now at that eight inch mark i'm just going to go ahead and put in the buttons okay the flat one is going to go at the bottom and the pointy one is going to go at the top so make sure you don't get the buttons confused the, the flat pressing button is going to go at the bottom and the pointy one is going to go at the top now we're going to go ahead and mark where exactly we're going to be putting our buttons so the first one obviously is going to be placed at that eight inch mark okay now i'm going to go ahead and mark that point on both the piece at the bottom and the piece at the top make sure that when you close it okay they align because that is exactly how your buttons are going to align when you close them so be sure that when you close it they actually align now from the first um, point you want to go ahead and mark three inches to the next point so each of your pressing buttons or press buttons are going to be three inches apart from each other so just keep marking three inches from that neckline 
all the way till you get to where you marked for your slits to um you know start from so just keep marking three inches all the way till you get to the end now once you're done marking it for the piece at the bottom you want to go ahead and just try to close the piece and then mark the exact point where it touches the piece at the top so that's how you're going to know how it's going to sit when you put in the press buttons okay so you want to mark the same points at the top so just do that all the way for all the points that you've marked now the final thing we're going to do is go ahead and put in our pressing buttons using our needle and thread and then for the sleeve you can either use a facing to turn it in but i actually turn mine in with a bias tape okay so just make sure that it's nice and neat once you do it to so also hem the bottom part of the dress as well and that's basically it guys so easy to do and that's about it this is the finished look guys i really love how this turned out please don't forget to subscribe down below thanks for watching bye